So just snuck my line, fell in about five feet of water, and I'm my ass out of here. Keep my corkers on me, and I kill myself. I'm good! I'm good! Hello, my name is Captain Ian Devlin of Devlin Charters, based out of Darien, Connecticut. Uh, I've been a professional f fishing captain for now since 1997. I specialize in fly fishing and plug casting for striped bass, bluefish, false albacore, bonito, and fluke in Long Island Sound and Connecticut coastal rivers here. I have a uh, world record bluefish uh, caught in 1999 in July uh, in the Norwalk Islands on fly, 20 pound class tippet, 16 pounds, 13 ounces, 38 inches long, and 21 inch girth. This is Tactical Anglers Crazy Alberto Knees Company with the uh, fast clips and several lures here, the pe pencil poppers, <clears throat> the Polaris style popper and the darter with the fast clips right here. Here we have Huey lures. We've got several examples here. This is uh, Captain Danny Hughes, a Huey Lures based in Massachusetts. This is his 40, all wood custom plugs with uh, Wolverine split rings and 4X strong BMC hooks, top shelf wood plugs. <clears throat> three examples of the 40s here. We have a Danny cut. We have his Cow Killer, which is a wire line trolling plug designed for fishing. Cuddy Hunk Islands, the Sound Pigs. This is a full six ounces. This is a huge, awesome plug. This is the Junior Cow Killer. And this is something new. This is a jointed Cow Killer Junior here, along with a jointed Danny Cut. Huey Lures. Here we have the Al Gags Whippet Eel in the 6, 8, and 10 inch models in several colors and various jig heads sizes between half ounce and an ounce and a half. This is the new, new penny color, uh, already doing really well on redfish down the Gulf Coast of Florida, equally effective in the rivers and the coffee colored rivers here on the Housatonic, very good color. Uh, so we got the 6, the 8, and the 10 inch. Al Gags Whippet Eels. Okay, so this is uh, probably the hardest part of the boating scheme. Just gonna back up slowly. The thing is with the trailer is that if you go left, it might go right. So make sure you're lined up and take your time. And what I do is go back slow and basically with most trailer and boat combinations I back the boat up until the top of the rims are covered and I'll stop it right there and we should be ready to go without any problems. Let it warm up, jack the engine down Always let your engine warm up. Every day I burn for you. Every day I burn for you.